What's going on? So, like, how's the family? So, no, how's it going? Not bad, not bad at all. Um, not bad at all. I never knew, I never knew this would happen in our lifetime. I'm telling I you. I already read this. This is history going on right now. The next 20 years, we'll talk about this. I can't tell them mm. talk about this. Really history, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we know K Majid, it's been boring, you know. It it feels like a jail term, you know, because you can't you can't do much and uh, like you it's like we're not, you know, free. Uh it's it's been crazy. Psychologically it's it's messing up, you know, a lot of people's, you know mind i know a lot of people will be going through mental illness right about now so it's a serious time i was talking to pascal and i was telling him how like i just don't get it you know i don't know i i feel like god is just talking to us god just wants us to pay attention to him you know because he, yeah. no listen, listen first of all first of all um, God has always wanted our attention since He sent His Son. He's always wanted our attention, and we are we are in a new we are in a new covenant with God. If you realize the old times when God put plagues and put locusts and all those things, there were punishments because the people didn't do what God wanted. But God doesn't mm. do that anymore. God doesn't do that anymore. After that, people say. This is God's way to bring us back to Him. This is God. God put a plague. God never put the old coronavirus. God doesn't do that. God is a loving God. God does not put plagues on us no more. You, you think? Understand? Okay, let me let me ask you a question. You think sometimes God? You know, sometimes God will take you to. Um, God will let something crazy happen to you because He knows this is the only reason this girl is going to turn to me and start praying and, you know, come back to me. What about that? Because I know sometimes we just go into very hard situations and, you know, things happen to us and then we have to pray and get back to God, you know. So no. don't you think it's it's one of no. those things? No, 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 God doesn't do that. Now, there's a lot of doctrine in the body of Christ that makes you believe that, you know, especially if a young person dies to go to a funeral, they say, oh no, God knows best. Oh, um, God gives and God takes and, and all these things. It's a doctrine in the body of Christ which is not true. God doesn't kill young people. God doesn't make young people die. God said, God said, um, in King James, where he's a score where he said, you live to 70 years if you're healthy not 80 years. Now, that was, that was the maximum he gave. That was the minimum he gave. Mm. I, can, I, I can spend so many, I can share so many scriptures on this way to understand that God doesn't do that. He's planned this so many times. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to be in good health. He said so many things. It is his wish that we all be saved and we all live a good life. God never took do something bad. But now, there's a doctrine that goes off it to believe that this coronavirus thing, God is going to put to their now. It takes, yeah. you, it, it takes you far away from you believing that God is a good God. I don't listen, listen, if everything bad that happened in your family, you know that I was responsible for it. Everything evil, everything bad that happened to you and your family, you know that I was the one who was responsible for it. Now, how would it seem like? How would you yeah. like? There would be no civilized nation on earth that would want to align to do that to you. And it would take away that protection of a good person. Mm. And that I'm doing this to you because I am taking you a process to be a better person. No. God has brought a lot of good things out of bad things. Like it wasn't God who ever did those bad things to people. No. Wow. God is God, yeah. And oh, wow. I'm, I'm sure you're making a better course right now, but one of these days, call me and I'll go good. Yeah. Specific scriptures that will make people see exactly God is what God is for us, and that and that. All right, let me let me end this. Let me end this. Let me end this. Let me end this.
is the idea that God is sovereign God, and, and because God is sovereign God, God has His hands on everything that happens. And nothing happens without God's concern. And even with the devil, the devil will have to push God permission before he does it. That is a lie. Wow. You know what? This evening, eh? this evening, I'm yeah. gonna call you. <laughs> I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you because, like, for me, I've just been, um, I've just been struggling a little, you know, to understand what's going on. Like, it feels like a dream. I was just saying it earlier, but it feels like a dream. And I haven't really spoken with anyone, you know. Yeah, I haven't really spoken with anyone like into detail about it. So this evening, yeah, I will call you. I'm gonna call Prince David as well. So keep watching, okay, my sheet. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't gone live in a long time. In a long time, I feel like I'm too much. Okay, 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 all right. All of, well, all of you guys, all of you guys, all right, to the, all of you guys watching right now, don't do anything motivated by fear. Obey the laws, but do not be motivated by fear. Do not be because you are scared. That's why you are obeying. If the guys don't deal with you, you are hitting in the blood. Love you all. Amen. Love you, Majid. Love you. Bye. I'll be watching, I'll be watching you guys. All right, then, bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, you're wearing Prince T-shirts. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Oh, you like this? I'm you you want me to borrow you? <laughs> please, please. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I see everyone's trying to pop yes. her head right in there. She's here. Yeah, red look. That's your T-shirt. I know. Come on. Yes, see, I, I got a T-shirt now. Oh, hi. Say A -Y. A -Y. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my mom. I miss you. How is it going in Nigeria? I miss you too, pretty. Pretty well. It's going well in Nigeria. Well, we're trying. We're surviving. We're praying. We are. Uh, abiding by the rules to stay at home and uh, we're trying to stay safe as well coronavirus is not joking yeah. but uh, like i've been saying to other people uh this too will pass this too will pass and uh, we're going to learn a lot from it we're going to learn a lot from it especially uh our leaders who are not uh doing the right thing mm. uh in in the in the ex, ex out sector so yeah. they're, they're just gonna learn from this and um they'll prepare better yeah. even next time they'll prepare better because, this is this is like a wake-up call country, right you have to stay in your country you can't go anywhere. oh yes nobody's going out <laughs> no nobody's jetting out we are all going to be here and savage it together yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Ah, anyway. So, so, so anyway, have you been? You know, we're, we're, we're doing something together pretty soon. I don't want to, you know, let everything out, but just so you don't forget, I told you. <laughs> I told no, you. No, no, I'm not going to forget. Yeah, it's long overdue. He's going to be in Ghana soon for a project. Mm. So, yeah. Did you, did you tell, did you tell, did you tell Ghanaians you were in my film and somewhere along the line you it just it just you didn't know, work i don't know what happened to you <laughs> it was it was so heartbreaking guys so let me just tell you guys i was in um merry men merry men too and i started shooting i think i i shot about five scenes and i was hit with malaria this malaria was so stubborn nothing was working i took two injections on my butt and I was throwing up, I, was, I wasn't was eating, I was stuck in the hotel for so long, so I... I don't even get to a private doctor. Yeah, it was just not working and, you know, I had to come back to Ghana. I, I was crying at the airport, I was crying like a baby at the airport, like, it was just crazy. But I know... And the funny thing, you got back, you got back home and you, you were fine. Yeah. That was strange. <laughs> no, 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 it's not juju. It's it's not juju. It's I think you you mixed the jollof rice up. No, no, you know. no, 
so there was something your jollof was struggling with our jollof <laughs> so somewhere along the line it played in your system so but what time got your life in kicking so it's yeah. the fact that your life can always work again so make it happen make it happen i'm waiting i will i will definitely and i will mm. be making you some jollof i will mm. uh, give you a very nice time and um just just you know prepare and and come over to ghana <laughs> No, Wahala. We're just around the corner. We're waiting. Okay. So, how are you? How are you? How are you guys doing in Ghana? What's the What's the story in Ghana? Uh, we're doing pretty well, but uh, you know, there are a few people out there. I won't blame them because anyway, some people are homeless. They don't have anywhere to go to, and some have to work to feed themselves or to put food on their tables. You know, it's like a hand to mouth kind of daily life for them. So telling them to stay indoors is like, okay, where is indoors for me? I don't have a house. I, I no, have no. to work else I'm not eating. So some people are really going on with their daily lives. You know, nothing has changed for them. But that's where, you know, the whole scare comes in. Because you are doing the right thing, you're in the house, but then others don't have homes. So what do you do? Now we're hoping that maybe government or you know, our leaders will find them shelters and and make sure that everybody is safe out there. Because this whole virus thing, you know, is, is one huge nightmare. You know, I oh, come to this I, I think uh, wait, waiting waiting for the government to do something is not something that is going to happen anytime soon. Or if at all it's going to happen, it's not going to be automatic. There are processes to this. So this is where I want to encourage people like you people like myself uh the little we can do individuals the little you can do to support to encourage these people i i trust you i heard uh, majid earlier and i also saw uh my brother on the streets going to uh, give up food yeah uh that's 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 it that's the spirit for this for this period yeah. for this season yeah. that's what is demanded that's what is required yeah. good enough your life today uh give them that encouragement like uh like a few days ago i was busy sending money to a few people you know mm -hmm. so that they can go get food because mm -hmm. there's no way you are going to keep the man who lives with, you know from hand to mouth yeah in the mm -hmm. house there's no way you're going to keep it yeah. might be easy for AY to say, I can stock up for two weeks and I'll be fine. It's yeah. easy for Yvonne. It's easy for it's many easy other for people. Me. It's not easy. Huh? It's not <laughs> it, it might. It might be easy. <laughs> Is it, uh, let's, let's not put God's blessings aside. Sometimes um, we look at some other people and we look at ourselves. We have reasons to thank God. Yeah. So we need to continue to pray. We need to continue to find a way to support people and uh, you know make an impact in lives yeah 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 right i mean these are trying times ay i'm just i'm just praying and hoping that this passes quickly so we can you know get back to normal uh, do, do, do you know what happened to me i had to postpone my show you know i have a show be for easter sunday yeah yeah and after spending millions of naira for publicity promotions and what have you i had to move i have to just cancel and announce the postponement and then if you realize i have this big deal with uh china yeah and i was yeah i was going to do a movie there this year and with all the preparations and plans all of that is history right now so the only thing that is just keeping me going business wise i started a new uh, web series yeah uh, yeah online so it's, it's, it's on youtube i don't know if you've seen any episode of culture back yeah. i posted it on twitter hello <laughs> oh, no, no, i haven't seen it. i should go i should go see it on retweet yeah, I did. thank you very much Welcome. appreciate appreciate thank you so have you been you you, you don't look like uh, Corona is around the environment. You're all oh, bright really? because, and because so. of the live, I had to like do some makeup and wear my wig and you know do all of that. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. No, okay, you have to let you. that. I'm gonna call you um, later on so we can we can vibe. 
I'll call you. Oh, All right. You take care. All right, right baby. Bring that say goodbye for me to me. I don't want that to come here. Just come away. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take the drive. I'll take the drive. <laughs> Why are you only saying to no, 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 no. No, Okay. All right, bye-bye. You take care now. My love to wife. Yeah, no, yeah. All right, take care. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Yeah. James, with the comments. Hey, you are sleeping. Hey, <laughs> why? Did I clear him up? <laughs> you are sleeping. Tell it, Yvonne, that's all I do now. I eat, I sleep. Oh, Reggie, work. you work. You, you work. We, we don't I work. Do. I do, Charlie, 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 Charlie. Charlie. It's is bad, yeah. But yeah. So, so, I so tell me how out. how it is like driving, leaving the house, going to work. You know, when the policeman stops you, you go to work. Yeah. Like, how is it like? Do you use like sanitizers every second? And you know, how I, is the I, whole environment like? I'm actually using alcohol because I feel it's stronger than the sanitizer. So oh. I have alcohol, like I'm a that I spray on my hands. But Charlie, it's crazy. It feels like a coup because you're seeing soldiers and police people all over the place. Like you know, you are up against something very serious. You know, you know, you are up against. It's like it's war. It's war. Yeah. You know, when you go yeah. Against, it's war. It's guys, war. I'll I'll tell you guys something here. Yeah. So Reggie and I were in New York, not too not <laughs> well. I mean, in February, um, ending of February, and. We were so lucky, but then we noticed something when we got to Europe because we did a transit in Europe. When we got to Europe, mm-hmm. the airport was empty, and I kept telling Reggie, "Ah, Reggie, why is this place so empty? It's like, so what's happening?" You know, it didn't occur to us. Like, we didn't, we didn't know that it was that bad in Europe. You know, mm-hmm. so it was when we got to Ghana, maybe a week or two weeks after, we started hearing mm-hmm. all these stories. We're like, "Hey." Charlie, this thing is real, you know. Charlie, it's I've real. So it's lucky real. So lucky, you know that. So it's real. It's crazy. I, it's crazy. I feel sad when I see how people are taking this like a joke, mm. and this is how it started in Italy. You know, people didn't take this so seriously. Yeah. And now see how the numbers have gone up. So we all really need to stay safe and be home. To mm. save our families and our friends, I keep saying like it's so yeah. important. Eh? We have to stay on. We have to stay on. serious. We need to stay on to see So you don't have any guests coming on your show? No, you no show guests or... coming. No, no. Why family. you're afraid? Hey! <laughs> ah, did you know I went to the pharmacy the other day to buy some some medicine for it and get some groceries, water and stuff. And then there was this doctor who approached me. Ah, the doctor was coming close. Some guy, I didn't know he was a doctor. He was coming so close. I was like, hey, please, go back smaller. Why? He said, oh, I'm that, um, um, Rin, see, look at Reggie. Look at Reggie. Rin! <laughs> And I was like, oh, please go back, go back small. And he said, oh, okay. And then he said, oh, I'm doctor. I said, hey, I can't shake you. I said, you're a doctor. Yeah, and you're coming so close. Like, you're not know, afraid. <laughs> I don't want to. You remember the guy that was on the plane that was checking the talk to you? He said, oh, he's on. You remember that guy? Yes. <laughs> he was coughing. But that guy, there, that guy, there, and they suspect <laughs> Oh, Rin, you're worrying me. Oh, yes. Rin. Ah, Reggie, you're hammering. Rin, Rin. Oh, baby, Rin. I want to add, add um, Belle to the call. Oh. Rin. The Lily. Bello, Belle, Rin. 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 Okay, M&M's, M&M's. Anna. You want that reaction? M&M's, M&M's. 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 Okay. I'll let her do the freestyle. I'll let her do the freestyle. Guys, so this is Reggie. Um, Hi, She's one of my closest, closest friends. You know, we 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 talk about pretty much everything. We can sleep on the same bed. Uh, she's like a sister to me. You know, friend, sister. Little yeah, sis. little so. sis, my little sis, yeah. my little Reggie, sister. everybody, Reggie. Give, it up. Give, it up. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Reggie. <laughs>
But she likes sleeping. She likes sleeping, but <laughs> guys, I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Look, I'm awake. I'm I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> you are lying. Charlie, no, I love you. Love you. No, I love you, one. Take, Take care. care. All righty. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, but me who know. me who know. Hello. Ah, oh, this network sucks. Rin, please, can you go and play? Okay. Go and... Oh, Rin, go and play. Hi. How are you? Hello. Ah, uh, this. Rin, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Rin, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, Rin. Wait, Rin. Oh. Rin is like climbing and I'm going to take you guys.